Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Deadpool 2 pack with Deadpool and Hitmonkey. This set I was kind of on the fence with until I saw it on sale. So I paid $29.99 on uh, Megalopolis Toys. So I figured that was a good deal. It's got a ton of accessories, which is cool. Even though it's a lot of repaints, uh, it's cool to get all these accessories kind of redone. Anyway, so I'm going to do this in a two-parter. I'll be doing Deadpool first and Hitmonkey. So we'll go ahead and look at the front of the box. It's a nice white box. It says Deadpool, 80 years anniversary. It has... Deadpool and Hitmonkey in the same suit. On the back, it has them together again. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and uh, get Deadpool out and check out the details. It has a little Deadpool logo on the top. All right, guys, so this, this set comes with a ton of accessories, so we'll check out all these accessories for Deadpool. Um, first off, it comes with this cool 80s guitar. It is the same uh, guitar that Spider-Punk got that was all white, but it's got this cool little paint job, pretty wild looking with the purple strap. I actually really like it. I think it's pretty... Pretty cool. It's a good change up. Back's just yellow. But you can see like all the sculpt work on the back. They didn't make it smooth or anything, which is nice. I think that looks really cool. We also get this Deadpool shield that's painted it's just smooth, but it's painted very nicely. It's got the white, the old, you know, the Deadpool logo <laughs> with the black, but it's a nice clean paint job. There's no bleeding over or, you know, like one side's lopsided or anything like that. It's just, it's not the one with the hoops. It's got the traditional clip with the peg in the back. Pretty cool. You can definitely use this with other Deadpools if you wanted to, or use it for a uh, custom. Comes with the pink, you know, pink striped, tiger striped uh, handgun. Looks cool. It's just such a wild little set. You get blue headphones, same ones that Star-Lord came with back in the Groot wave. But it's just this, you know, bright blue with the black earmuffs. Cool. We also get the maskless Deadpool head, which looks cool. It doesn't have the white eyes like we've seen in the past. And it's actually, it's you know just painted a little bit different, but it's definitely the same head that we got with the first Deadpool that we got way back in with the, was that Juggernaut wave? I think so, but pretty cool. And here's the half unmasked Deadpool head that we've gotten with the pajama or boxer shorts Deadpool. That crazy smile. Mine does have a little bit of a white little blemish on the top of the forehead. But overall, it's a cool looking head. I definitely like this one. Just some, you know, it's just nice to get these different variations, even if you haven't gotten the boxer one. Now that you get this set, now you have it. And of course, he comes with this two Takanas or Katanas. Can't talk. <laughs> it's just done the silver plastic here, and it just has the red painted handles so not anything too crazy and there's a little bit of silver paint on the guard there and last we got headpool here and a little little rc car that we've seen with the spider-man wave way back um so it's got this nice blue it just says big pool in the front which is pretty funny i wasn't expecting that it's pretty goofy looking but it's got a nice uh, pearlized blue paint job uh headpool is painted differently than when we got with lady deadpool so his hat, helmet's paint, but you'll see a comparison. This is gonna be a huge comparison video because I'm gonna be comparing the car and everything. So definitely stay tuned for that. And it's got the little pole for the flag. It's painted white. So cool little thing. I do wish these wheels were articulated, but they are not. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check out Deadpool. All right, so looking at Deadpool, we have seen this Deadpool head before. This is the same one from the Juggernaut Wave Deadpool, just in a lighter red. But it looks good. It's got the nice uh, black paint around the eyes, the silver over the eyes, and none of it's bleeding over. Just a nice looking Deadpool head sculpt with a little blip in the back. You can see his little red neck. It does get a little splotchy right there, and this tie is kind of relaxed. It's got the red tie, white suit. I did notice that the white is a little bit different color than the legs. It's kind of more of a darker white, and it's kind of a little lighter. It does have nice uh, chrome, like silver paint applications on the belt buckle there. It looks good. You can see little holsters for his handguns. Otherwise, just continues the white. He's got white gloves with the pinky out, and he's got the pistol grip hand on the left with the white coat. And the, belt, the buttons here are not painted or anything like that. It continues with the white slacks with these crazy nice white shoes with the black bottoms. I think these look really nice. Very cool. Overall, it's a pretty basic figure, but it's just cool to have him dressed up differently. I'll def I'm definitely happy with him with the uh, for my Deadpool display. But we'll go ahead and show you guys him with his different head sculpts on, or swappable heads, and then I'll go over the articulation. We'll do some comparisons. 
So here is maskless. It looks a little weird with that red neck. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just think this looks a little off, just my opinion. To me, this doesn't look too bad. I like it because at least he has part of the mask on and matches with the neck. This may be the way I pose him just to have him be a little bit different than the others, even though he's already completely different in a sense with the suit, but not too bad. All right, so going over the articulation, he looks left and right, up and down. He does have the ball joints in the shoulders to move out, forward and back. He's got an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Wrist rotation also hinges at the wrist. So nice ab crunch, crunches down pretty far. Sliding back, not so much. By the way, here's the back of the figure. I kind of forgot to go over that. <laughs> Waist swivel kicks up and spreads about that much. And upper thigh swivel, double jointed elbows, no boot rotation, ankles move side to side and down and up. Kind of did that in opposite order I normally do. And pickles bomb his feet. And I'll show you guys how tall. Deadpool is, and then we'll get into some crazy amounts of comparisons, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so Deadpool stands should be around six inches, a little over six inches tall. And so we'll go ahead and bring in Series 6 Deadpool from Toy Biz. I brought down all my Deadpool, so bear with me. <laughs> so here's Deadpool. I'm always forgetting which wave he's in. And we got the X-Men Deadpool. Now we got X-Force Deadpool. I'm gonna bring in some Hasbro now. So here's our early Hasbro. Here's the two-pack Deadpool. With, uh, Warlock or Warpath. Here's the X-Force two or X-Force X-Force single carded Deadpool. Here's the variant X-Men two-pack Deadpool. And then here's the one that it that this Deadpool kind of shares his head with from the Juggernaut wave. So am I gonna make guys fall over? And here is Boxer Deadpool. Actually, we'll move him over here. And then why not? We'll bring in the scooter. Oh, he just lost his dog. Here's the scooter Deadpool with his opened up mouth and everything the dog all right so you can see it's a pretty cool looking little desk pool display it's fun to have all the different variations of this character um but we'll go ahead and move these guys aside i'll do the head pool uh comparison along with the rc car and then that should about wrap it up all right so first up we'll do the comparison of head pool so here's head pool next to the head pool that we got with lady deadpool so you can definitely see the difference in paint applications, whether, you know, with the, with the black around the eyes, along with the top, the little spinner tops. This is more, the one from Lady Deadpool is more of a bronze, whereas the Deadpool one has got more silver. But very cool. It's cool that they're actually painted differently. I actually like the two-pack one a lot better, or a lot more. Sometimes I can't talk. <laughs> all right now we'll compare the rc cars all right so here's deadpool or head pool with the other rc car it's got a lot better paint job uh, i like the bright blue the pearlized blue compared to the flat green you can see the difference in the flags the one's red one's white but yeah otherwise same car i'll go ahead and show you guys the half mask up deadpool in comparison with the boxer deadpool all right guys so here you go it's just a little paint variations and difference. Um, the red looks about the same, but the flesh tone's different. Um, this one's definitely a little darker, whereas this one's a little lighter. Yeah, there you go. All right, guys, so that's going to conclude my review on Deadpool from this Deadpool 2 pack. I think it's actually a lot of fun. I love all the accessories. So I think he's it's worth picking up, especially for 30 bucks. Or if you find it, even for 35, with all the little accessories that they come that this set comes with, it's to me it's worth it. Uh, just to be able to inter swap change pieces or give other characters, you know, those accessories. It's just it's a fun way to change up your display and just enjoy your Marvel Legends even more. So anyway, guys, that's my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's pretty long. Um, leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to, and follow me on Instagram at David B's Action Figure Reviews. Take care. Have a great night. Excuse me. Bye.